So something awful happened when I received issue number 5 of the new Fangoria magazine in the mail. The normally sturdy and secure envelope looked damaged and bent. I braced myself as I removed the magazine from the envelope and discovered a very damaged issue inside. Look, I'm notoriously anal about my stuff, and I'm not sure if these pictures really do justice to the damage, but I pay a lot of money for this subscription, and the magazine was bent and torn. So I emailed Fangoria and told them what happened. They immediately got back to me within like 10 minutes or so. They apologized and requested a few pictures of the damaged magazine. I obliged, and they once again immediately got back to me with another apology, and a promise to send a replacement issue. Literally two days later, I received my replacement issue. It was quadruple wrapped, and it was in perfect shape. Fangoria really went above and beyond for me, an anal fan, and I appreciate them so much. As for issue number five, it's another home run. The cover is a throwback to those wonderful ones from the 80s with the new Creepshow series, which I've yet to see. We've got a tease about Three From Hell, and images from It 2, The Lighthouse, and Satanic Panic. These films are all covered in great detail, and as usual, there's much, much more. I love the Tony Timpone section, as always, as well as all the nostalgia stuff. And I really love the fun little comics included as well. But it's not all nostalgia, as new movies are covered as well as interesting write-ups and articles. My favorite is by Jacob Knight about all those quote, problematic movies in your Blu-ray collection. It's really good stuff. So if you haven't yet, I highly recommend subscribing to the new Fangoria magazine. Simply put, it's amazing.